What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. We have some crazy news to cover today. We're going to cover Microsoft earnings, Google earnings, Tesla stock getting absolutely destroyed, and the most important stock news to know now, the stock markets are, no, the stock market is going crazy. So many stocks are actually falling quite a bit. So we're definitely going to update you on everything with that. Make sure to let us know what stocks you are watching in the comments down below. We'll probably cover them in tomorrow's video. But Tom, let's take a look at Tesla to start off. It was a brutal day today, down 12%. What is going on with Tesla stock? Yeah, it was brutal, Mike. It's down in a big way. And obviously, Twitter played a big role in Tesla falling down. Obviously, Elon Musk has to pay for uh, for purchasing Twitter in some type of way. I know he got a lot of financing, but he still has to pay about $21 billion. So we're going to see how he ends up paying for that. And I think, Mike, some people are starting to to understand that Elon Musk is going to have to sell some of his Tesla stock to end up paying for this. So as we can see, Tesla's down quite a bit, ended up closing down 12%, which is huge for a stock like them. It went even lower in after hours down to 862. And Mike, we see we actually had some pretty crazy news come out today regarding Jack Dorsey and Elon Musk. Dorsey actually came out and endorses Elon Musk's vision for the Twitter platform and pretty much said that he uh, he really likes Elon's end goal here. So it's really cool to see. I'm glad that uh, Jack Dorsey is endorsing this. And in the end, it's trending on Twitter. So it's cool to see that uh, Elon still up here in the headlines, Mike. And man, there's been a lot of crazy headlines today regarding Elon, but it's really nice to see the ex-CEO kind of uh, praising him like this. No doubt. So back to Tesla stock for just a second, Tom, because it is brutal. So, you know, like you said, uh, Elon might have to sell some Twitter share or some Tesla shares, which would have a negative impact on Tesla stock. Also, some are speculating that uh, because of this whole Twitter buyout that Elon might uh, not have enough time to dedicate to Tesla, therefore, you know, hindering Tesla's growth. Um, some other people are, or I actually agree with this quite a bit, is that Tesla is just trading at a very aggressive valuation as it is and stocks are just overall falling. And then another thing is just like a snowball effect of like when you have a very aggressive valuation, so many stocks crashing down, plus Elon maybe having to sell some Tesla shares, plus, you know, investors getting a little bit worried that Elon might not be a hundred thousand percent dedicated to Tesla considering this Twitter event, you know, the stock's tanking down. So a lot of people are watching it and it's uh, very volatile. Yeah, it is. And I really hope that Elon ends up paying a lot of attention still to Tesla. I personally think he'll still be pretty big with them, of course, Mike. And I think Twitter will just be something more of in the background. And, you know, he can always pay people to kind of take care of Twitter for him. Of course, it can always be his vision. But, you know, he doesn't have to give like, you know, 300 percent effort to, to run Twitter or anything. I think that he'll be pretty fine kind of, you know, running that one in the background. But as we know, Tesla is his baby and I hope it continues to do well. You know, Tesla didn't really falter with SpaceX too much. So I would think in the future, Elon might get more into SpaceX if he gets into anything. But yeah, Tesla really tanked off today, Mike. It was pretty bad. We're all the way back down to that key, 880 to 900 support. We actually closed just under that. So man, this was a brutal drop. And like I said, even breaking below support at, at the end of the day. Yeah, so Elon has a lot on his plate. Of course, he runs Tesla, he runs SpaceX, the boring company, Neuralink, and now he's going to run Twitter, but I think he'll handle it just fine. So we'll see what happens. Tom, let's take a look at these earnings from today. Uh, Google and Microsoft, what's going on? Yeah, so Google is actually down here, Mike, in a pretty big way. Their earnings were actually not the best, although they did report a $70 billion share buyback here. You can see their stock fell down to 2225 here in after hours, but it is kind of going all over the place. I will say they might end up opening up pretty well tomorrow, but you can see here they ended up uh, slightly losing on their EPS. They also came just under on their revenue as well. Um, it actually was really close to the estimates on both of them, though, so it wasn't too bad. But in the end, they did end up missing on those. They also missed, Mike, on their YouTube advertising revenue, which was definitely not good. They came in just about under, uh, like, for example, just almost under a billion dollars there. Not quite, but it was definitely a big hit. 
Um, their Google Cloud revenue was good, which is nice. But in the end, you know, whenever you don't beat on your EPS or your revenue, it's definitely not a good thing to see. And their stock's coming down here in after hours. Yeah, and another big thing is that Google is going to be repurchasing $70 billion of their shares. So $70 billion of its Class A and Class C shares. This is very good news. Basically, the company is taking $70 billion and buying the stock. So it's pretty awesome if you own Google shares. Uh, whenever you have a company repurchasing their shares or buying back their shares, it is almost always a good thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's very important. And the stock is all over the place. Like I know it dropped down quite a bit and now it's kind of popping back up. It's still lower, but you know, it, it's, it's a volatile one. So we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, we definitely will. You know, that share buyback is going to be pretty big for Google, Mike. If we look at them on like a max daily chart, they've honestly been consolidating since like September or October of last year. Now they're kind of falling off here, making new lows over the past six months or so. So, you know, it's going to be big for Google to see how they end up opening up tomorrow. Look at that implied volatility jumping up, heading into earnings. I wonder, uh, Mike, if this one's going to be another theta burner for tomorrow, because it kind of seems like it might. You know, it looks like we might see an IV crush early in the morning if the if it opens up around where it is now. But of course, Mike, we still have Microsoft here in after hours. And initially they were falling off too, but they're actually coming right back to the upside. They had a pretty good beat on their on their EPS and their revenue, which was pretty cool to see. Um, I'm glad to see their stock coming back up after that initial drop, Mike. We can see on the uh, article on CNBC here, they had pretty great numbers overall. They beat on the top and bottom lines, and it's just really nice to see them moving up like this. Hopefully, this helps keep the SPY somewhat uh, you know, around the closing price of today. I really hope we don't see the SPY futures or S&P futures tank down in after hours here. Yeah, so tell us more about these Microsoft earnings. How's their revenue, earnings per share, all that stuff? Yeah, they came in at 2.22, barely beat on that. Their revenue um, also barely beat. As you can see, they came in at 49.36 billion versus 49.05 billion expected. So nothing too crazy there, but you know, their year over year numbers were pretty good. They increased 18% year over year on the revenue, which was nice. And whenever you scroll down and you read through all of their different stuff, whether it's their cloud services or their Microsoft productivity slash business uh, solutions and stuff like that, it all came out to be pretty good here. So I'm glad to see that happening. They even said revenue from like Windows licenses went up. So, you know, they have a lot of different stuff that they're getting into. We also can't forget, Mike, they also announced during the quarter that they were going to be or they're planning to buy Activision Blizzard, of course, for $68.7 billion, their largest transaction in their 47-year history. So we can't forget about that either. All right, there we go. So, Tom, uh, the market is all over the place, and this week is going to be very volatile considering all of the major earnings reports that we have. Looking at the S&P 500, what are the most important levels you have for us uh, looking at the SPY ETF? Yeah, you know, we talked about this a lot yesterday. They ended up dipping right under 420 in the middle of the day today and sold off in after hours down to 413.89 here, Mike. This was a bad sell-off. We had a lot of stocks falling down. As far as supports, we have to go back a pretty long ways, but we're approaching a pretty big one, Mike. There's a pretty big one coming up right around 413 to 415. You know, we're sitting at 414 right now. So if we end up falling under like 413 with the SPY tomorrow, we might end up hitting 410, which was the low back at the end of February. So definitely watch out for 410. That's the lowest level we've been at in a long time. You know, we can go back all the way to like August of last year. We were still over 410. So we're definitely getting low here on the SPY. The pullback is accelerating, Mike. And whenever we look at it on the daily chart, the SPY seems like it's really getting low here. And with these earnings not going the best, I think we might see a continued sell-off over the next few days, but you know, we still have big earnings later in the week too. Enlighten us, Tom. What's on the schedule? Yeah, it's huge, you know? So we thought tonight was big with Microsoft, Google. We even had Visa and GM and Enphase report too, but tomorrow before open, we have Boeing and Spotify, but after close, we have Facebook, PayPal, Ford, Qualcomm. Thursday is going to be the biggest day of the week by far. Twitter is going to be before open. Then we have Apple, Amazon, Roku, Intel, Robinhood after close on Thursday, Exxon and Chevron on Friday. So 
Lots of big ones, Mike. Like we talked about a lot, we're watching Facebook a lot, of course. Twitter is going to be interesting with everything going on. And I really like Intel. So hopefully they end up reporting good numbers too. All right, there we go. All right, so before we move on to the next part of the video, I just want to give a giant shout out to our member of the day, which is Oz in the Stocked Up Discord chat. Huge shout out, uh, huge shout out to Oz. Thanks for being a great member of the chat. You've been with us for almost two years now. So there we go. Um, and Tom, it's now time for the momentum plays for tomorrow. With the first one, we have Palantir to the downside. Yeah, poor Palantir is going down even in after hours here. Go ahead and make them break below $10.80. If they break that in pre-market, then look at $10.75. With the next one, we have Square also to the downside. Yeah, it looks like everything's kind of pulling back in after hours. Go ahead and make Square break below $97.50. All right, so the last one we have it to the upside, and that is Zoom. Yeah, Zoom. So let's go ahead and make them break out above one hundred dollars and one. Well, I should just say one hundred and one dollars. That's a pretty big level from the past couple of days. A hundred dollars is going to be big too, Mike. But we can see intraday today it kind of went up to one hundred one. So definitely watch for one hundred one there. Boom, there we go. So we are watching Zoom for a potential day trade to the upside tomorrow only if it breaks above the levels Tom listed. And we are watching Square and Palantir for potential day trades to the downside tomorrow, only if they break below the levels Tom listed. But Tom, looking at stocks overall, it's been a crazy week. And it's good that we finally got Microsoft and Google earnings over with, but we're not even halfway through the week yet. We still have a lot of uh, powerhouse companies that are yet to report like Apple and Amazon on Thursday, and then even Facebook and PayPal tomorrow after close. So we're in for a wild week. Yeah, we really are. And a lot of these stocks were falling off big time today. Like Facebook was unfortunately falling up, falling down today in a major way. You know, we even have Intel falling down and, you know, a lot of stocks were in the red. I will say the only things green on my watch list today were pretty much Pfizer, Lockheed Martin, Exxon Mobil, and then the gold ETF GLD. Besides that, everything else was in the red. And I had a lot of stocks well below 5%. Like I said, AMD was down pretty big. Unity was down. Um, one that really caught my eye this morning, Mike, was Roblox. They were really selling off down another 8.2% today. Again, of course, we had the powerhouse Tesla leading the market down 12%. So Mike, it's been a it's been a rough couple days here. Hopefully the earnings can help turn the market back around. But for right now, we're definitely in a pretty bad sell-off. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, make sure to subscribe. We have a lot of big things planned for the channel. Make sure to subscribe. Let us know what you're thinking in this or with this market in the comments down below. Besides that, let's have a great rest of the week.